What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm at the thrift store looking for some treasures, some things I can buy and sell, flip on eBay, Amazon, or wherever. Just picked up that little RC buggy, a new bright, and I bought it blind. It was only a dollar. It was very clean, had the remote. Not worth a whole lot. I didn't expect it to be worth a whole lot, but you know, at that price, it's worth a shot. Got some board games here. Got this Lego board game. Would be probably worth picking up if it had all the pieces, but I can tell just by shaking it a little, there's hardly any pieces in there. And uh, some of those Lego games, though, are really good money. Uh, certain ones, I have four or five. I, I pick up at yard sales for like a dollar, you know, or less. And I've just never went through to see if all the pieces are there, just because it's a pain <laughs> to go through and count the pieces, especially when there's Legos involved. But they're there, and uh, some, at some point I'll go through them and probably make a few hundred dollars on them. So over in this thrift store, the prices are very, very good. But I'm here later. Usually, you know, there's so many people here when the store first opens. All the stuff is gone because it's so cheap. And then eventually, throughout the day, they put out a few more items. And there was something they put out um, over there. You see the appliances were kind of light. They put out a uh, CPAP machine cleaner I ended up picking up. Gonna make some great profit on that. Over here on this wall, let's see if we can find anything today. Uh, recently I found an Olympus Stylus Epic camera worth about $100 on this shelf, so you just never know. Here's a quick set, sealed door handle. Not a really high-end one, not enough money to be made on Amazon. You got this car console, like window control system. Um, I think it might have been a return even, but it was like a an off-brand, uh, no real good brand or anything. I looked it up. At most, knew they were selling for like $20, $25. Inside of a Goodwill now, checking out what we can find in there. Of course, the prices are going to be higher than the, the church-ran thrift store, but that's okay. You can still find some treasure. And I got this cooler. There's some good coolers out there you can make some money on. I don't buy a lot of them just because they're big. I don't really don't want to deal with them. I find enough stuff. So, bags, you got to check the bags, $12.99 for these microphones. I forget the brand now. I could see the model in there, and I looked them up, and they just weren't really selling. Um, there's a couple listed for, you know, like $30 new, but I just ended up leaving the bag. Got this old Pioneer CD player. Goodwill has $24.99 on it. Uh, I looked it up, brand new. They're selling for $30 on eBay. So, just... It's not worth picking up, you know, used for $24.99. Though, you know, it sold after a couple days. Someone bought it. So, um, that's, you can't hardly blame Goodwill when people are going to pay those prices. Uh, so, $24.99. If they can get that for that old CD player, that's fine. So some of these older CD players for cars, they're great money. Um, that one was just a basic one, though. So, uh, you could pretty much get it on eBay new. So, I don't know. I guess people just don't want to shop on eBay. Here's a great find, a phase 10 dice, shaking it. That's easy money, and I already flipped that. I've, I sold that very quick, sent it to Amazon using their FBA service, sold for $50 within, you know, like hours after getting to the warehouse. I think it was only a dollar as well, so really good profit. Got some dinosaurs in a bag. There's a Jurassic World one I saw there, JW. It wasn't, you know, one of the better ones, and I like to pick up the JWJP marked ones that are a bit older, certain rare ones. Here's a locker or something. I don't know what that was. Horses. You know, I mentioned it a lot recently. Um, there's usually someone who leaves a comment like, you should check the horses. They're briar. It's like, yeah, I do. Um, a lot of times I can't see the, the, the names on the horses, so I don't want to stand there with the camera and just waste people's time while I'm trying to see if it's briar. So, yeah, I do check the horses. Briar Schleich, all that stuff. Here's a Ugarella. Uh, Gantz, you know, I thought this was going to be worth picking up. I looked it up and yeah, they just weren't selling or they weren't selling for much. I don't really remember at this point. Picking up some cassettes and some audiobooks there. I'm finding over in the media. Uh, I mentioned in some videos, I've, I've been looking through cassettes and buying them, trying to find some cool stuff. The values are kind of going up and I'm just kind of speculating a little bit on those since they're all 99 cents. You know, I pick out stuff that I like, um, things that I think will sell later. And uh, over time, you know, I'll probably discover some cassette bolos, I'm sure. Same with these um, VHS. Some of them can be worth money. Some of them are going up in value. 
people's nostalgia. People, I see people selling them at like toy conventions and stuff, the cassettes, kind of weird, but it's, it's usually certain ones like this one, a sealed um, Holy Testament <laughs> cassette. Um, yeah, VHS tape day. Some of that stuff can do very well. Speaking of like the religious tapes and stuff, I go over to Salvation Army and I've filled my cart with all of these like religious DVDs. And I think they're all DVDs, maybe some CDs in there. I don't remember. Uh, $1.99 a piece, gonna make you know great money on those. So some of them sealed. I think there was one selling for like $50, $60 by itself. So yeah, you just never know when you go in these thrift stores what you're gonna come across. The books the same. Just checking out these books, hoping there'd be, you know, someone who donated all that stuff would have a bunch of nice, you know, religious books at another Goodwill now. And um, actually, there's more Salvation Army stuff. I don't know. Um, it must be toward the end. I probably should have put that <laughs> with the rest of the Salvation Army. But there's the toys here at this Goodwill. And we are checking them out, trying to see if we can find something. Here is... One of these crate monster things. I, I find the crates all the time. This one seems to be new. I think it was $5.99. I'm like, oh, that's going to be worth picking up. Put it in the cart, but when I've done some research, you know, it just wasn't selling. It wasn't selling for much, the ones that they had on there. So, yeah, it was, I put it back. Uh, kind of surprising. Just, again, <laughs> you just never know what's selling and what isn't. Now, two years from now, those things may be, you know, worth 100 bucks. People may want them for whatever reason. Boxes, um, just checking in there. I don't know what that was. Kind of looked like water balloons. There's a cribbage board. I recently sold a cribbage board from like 1895. I got $100 for. I found in Goodwill. Some of those boards, they do good. Uh, we got a bag of crayons there. Interesting. A bag of plastic squares. I don't know who wants plastic squares, but maybe somebody. Some LOL dolls. I think that's what that is. Um, still not too familiar with them. I did pick up a couple bags the other day of probably over a hundred LOL surprise dolls. I think I'm going to do pretty well on. So that's probably going to teach me a lot about them. Here's a handheld game. It's a slots, not a great one. Uh, dinosaur, just checking it out, making sure it's nothing special. Some of those dinosaurs there, I think they come in mega blocks. Even Lego makes some that can be surprisingly valuable. Here is one of these old projectors. You know, I remember those from school. They have them on the little cart and, you know, use them in the classroom. So this one, I think, was a new open box. It might have been used. I couldn't tell. It was just all tore up there. It was 50 bucks. Comps were like 100, 120, or something like that for a new one. I just didn't want to mess with it at that price. So I left it there. Um, if it had been brand new, actually sealed. I would have picked it up for 50 Could have made some money. Probably should have edited out that sun glare, huh? <laughs> Just had the camera tilted, getting some sun in there. Looking at the shoes. Uh, I don't remember if I found any shoes today at this Goodwill. But we head over to another aisle, and I, I found this TiVo. And this one seems to be new inside. Looks like maybe the controller was pulled out or something. $6.99, even pre-owned. I could make money. Uh, new open box. I'm going to make a lot more money. So I grabbed that for $6.99. Got an Instapot there. They want $50 for. That's one of those items they really price up at Goodwills. Those Instapots. Same with routers. There was a Goodwill close by that used the price of those used routers for like $50, $60 for a while. Unbelievable. I don't know what they were thinking uh, doing that. I guess eventually they quit doing that because I'm sure no one bought them. Again, maybe somebody, maybe there were some people buying them. I don't know. Uh, sometimes people who are buying don't know what things are worth either. And uh, I think Goodwill takes advantage of that sometimes. Here is a USB 2.0 cable. It's like a serial cable for like printers and stuff. I buy those when I see them, especially new, because I sell certain items that use them. It's good to have on hand. So I'll throw that in the cart as well and see if we can see anything else before we exit this store. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot on the shelf. I see one of those Tupperware party trays down there. Well, they're, they're a little bit of money. Um, if they're clean and they got the, the parts inside, I just didn't want to mess with it. They're big. <laughs> it kind of be annoying to ship sometimes. 
Uh, so I actually have one as well, and I just didn't want to, it was kind of dirty. I just didn't feel like scrubbing it down and dealing with all that and to make like $10 or less. I picked it up at a yard sale cheap, and I still couldn't really make a lot of money, but people do buy them. So here we are at Salvation Army. I'm pretty sure this is the same day um, when I had the religious stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> it might be a, another day. Here is a puzzle, and it was sealed, but I see this Lego set. I'm like, ooh, is this sealed? Uh, the puzzle didn't end up being worth anything, but the Legos I picked up, I think they were 5 or $6. Be able to sell Legos on Amazon, new sealed with no box damage. Not worth a whole lot, though. Um, like 35 40 bucks. Here's some sports balls, brand new, sealed. Um, football, basketball. Now, there's a tiny bit of money to be made on these, and I ended up just leaving them because the FBA fees were so high because of the big bulkiness. Uh, just wasn't worth it for five or six dollars profit. Here is some Frisbees. I'm checking these out because some Frisbees are just worth a whole lot of money. Frisbee golf, uh, Frisbee football, whatever. So now we are back. This is uh, the second day apparently, I remember now. Uh, we're at the Goodwill we started at and uh, I found some toys there. There was an Imaginex Batman. It was missing the remote. So I ended up just putting it back. It wasn't worth selling without the remote. Uh, there was another remote there I thought was go went to a Fisher-Price toy. I ended up putting that back. It went to a generic one. Uh, so I didn't get any of that stuff. But this barometer I looked up and surprisingly was worth a, a decent amount. So I put that in the cart. I also got these storage towers I'm deciding to buy for personal use. Got those in there. And uh, here is some shoes at the second or third goodwill we're in this is day two of that goodwill i'm telling you you can go in and find different stuff every day if your goodwills are putting out enough and some interesting jordan shoes there i got that forbidden island game uh something else maybe was in the cart i don't remember exactly got some cool posters here got a terminator was it terminator terminator 2 judgment day poster got a 300 poster and a Resident Evil poster back here. Um, not really for me. They're not worth a whole lot of money or anything. I think they had $7 on them, but pretty cool if you wanted to hang them up. They're not like original movie posters or anything like that. But yeah, I think we've had a pretty good haul here in the last couple days. I'm um, going to thrifting and really hitting the same stores. So you just never know what you're going to find when you go into the same stores multiple days. You can go to the same store two or three times a day and find different amazing things. It just depends on how you know good stocked your stores are. So here it is, I got a haul to show you. I got these nice storage drawers over here, $6.99 a piece at Goodwill. I'll just show you those, I'm using them for personal use. Back here, I got this power steamer. Selling a lot of power steamers this year on Amazon. I was getting about $80 to $100 for them pre-owned. This model's uh, slightly newer or something. They don't sell for as much. I think about $40. Now, I paid $5 for it. So, looks to be in very clean, complete condition. There's some money to be made. Right below it, I got this TiVo. I paid $6.99 for it. Looks to be new in box. I couldn't tell exactly. However, it's still you know pre-owned. I'd be able to sell it for $30, $40. New open box, looks like I might be able to get about $80 for it on eBay. Some of these used can have lifetime subscriptions and you can get quite a bit of money for them. I doubt this one does, especially if it's new open box. Paid $5.99 for this brand new sealed Trolls Lego set. It sells for about $35 on Amazon. As of right now, I'll make about $15. I might just put it on my Christmas shelf and hold, hold it for the holiday season where I'll probably get a bit more money. Picked up this Roboblox for $5 and Look like you make a little bit of money on Amazon as well. Again, it might be something I hold on to. Phase 10 dice, I've mentioned this multiple times in my videos. I noticed it, I didn't see it on Amazon when I done a search, I'll have to look again. It was only 99 cents, but the last couple I sold, I got like 40, $45 for. So for a dollar, you know, I'm gonna pick these up all day long. Back here, I picked up this knife block and it was only $2 at the thrift store. Looks like I could sell it for $20 plus shipping. Some of these are worth quite a bit of money. If you find the right ones, you can get $50, $60 for them. Always depends on the brand, the type of wood, all that kind of stuff. You just have to look them up and do the research. Paid $2 for this Forbidden Island game. This is a very, very fast seller on Amazon. Doesn't sell for a lot though, but because it's so popular, you can price it a dollar 
dollar lower than the new price, which is about $18, and it's gonna sell very quick. Recently, I passed up a Nutribullet set like this at a Goodwill. They wanted, I think it was about $15. I remember in my video, I said it'd be worth a little bit of money, right? Um, but not worth the time. This one was $3. <laughs> there's a lot of accessories in there. So at the thrift store for $3, I picked it up. I think there's about $30 profit, probably. Just parting it out. These Sony CDR Music CDs on Amazon look like they're selling for about $35, $40. I only paid a dollar ninety-nine for them, I think. Where's the price? There it is. So back here, I thought this was some sort of like food steamer at first. Eight dollars at the thrift store. I looked it up. Turns out it's a CPAP device cleaner. I know a lot of this kind of stuff on eBay, the medical stuff, you gotta be careful selling because it'll get removed. You're not allowed to sell certain medical items. As far as like the hoses and the equipment that's like used on the body I don't buy to sell but this is a cleaner this is what you put your stuff in to clean as far as like the hoses and the mask and stuff like that use I don't buy to sell because that's kind of gross anyway probably some sort of health issue I'm not gonna be able to properly clean them but since this is an actual cleaner for the the parts I figure it's fine right I see a lot of other people selling them pre-owned so I'm gonna give it a shot it sells for about $80 plus shipping got some media here at Salvation Army there's a bunch of religious DVDs and CD sets some of them brand new sealed, like this one I think was selling for about $40. Uh, I paid $2 a piece for all of them. A couple of them, you know, new was selling for about $15. You got some others that were selling $20, uh, $30, $35. So there's going to be some amazing profit in the end on this stuff. Picked up this audio CD book at Goodwill. Uh, paid, I think, only $2 for it. Had some amazing reviews on Amazon and no one currently had it in stock. So I'm going to send it in for about $50. I think it will sell. I just picked up this sealed VHS tape just because some of this Bible stuff can do well, especially sealed. Um, currently none listed. This is something I'll probably list like for $25 and see if I can get someone to buy it. Only paid a dollar for it. Picked up a couple cassettes. Cassette values are going up a little bit, so I'm kind of picking out some of the, the cool stuff, like this Batman Forever. It looked like it was selling for like $12, $13. You know, the Lion King. I believe about the same. Only paying a dollar for them. I figure, you know, I can do lots. I can get certain genres, lot them together, make some money. So when I find good stuff cheap enough, I'm just gonna start picking it up. Who knows how high these prices are gonna go in the end. Here's something I just picked up because of the price. It was only a dollar at the thrift store. Goodwill may have wanted $20 for this. So, you know, it's just how it is. When you see something that's cheap, it's in good condition. It's an RC car, new bright. Some of the stuff's worth it. You know, it's not worth a whole lot, maybe $15. But again, when you're only paying a dollar for it, you know, it's pretty good. Maybe I can sell the remote. Back here, I picked up this barometer. I found one exactly like this. It sold for $30. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab it. You can see it came from a thrift store. Uh, I think it was 99 cents at that thrift store. $1.99, but Goodwill's like, nope. Um, we're going to price it a dollar more than the other thrift store because that's what we do. You know, I'll probably price it $25, $30 and see if I can sell it. Got some pretty cool Jordan. They're very dirty. Bottom's kind of worn. This is about a hundred dollar pair of shoes if they're in their better condition. I think that physically they're in pretty good condition. I'll be able to magic eraser most of this stuff off. It looks like some wear there, but I think that's just dust. I was rubbing it off with my finger. So, you know, minimum, I'm gonna sell these for $50 once I clean them up. I think they'll move. I only paid five dollars for them. Here we have a tomato strainer. You know, I sold a tomato strainer like last year, maybe two years ago at this point, but sold it for about $100. I don't remember the brand. This one's not as good. It looks like maybe $30, $40. I opened it up, very clean, looks complete in there. Paid $5.99, so it's gonna be some good profit. Just grabbed a couple Power Rangers toys. They're a bit newer. Uh, this sword, you know, sells for about $15 plus shipping, max. $2.99, it's in good condition. I think this wrist thing may be only worth about $10. I'll probably bundle them together and and ask about 20. Then finally back here, I got some clothing items. We got this Helly Hansen jacket, which is, I think like ski jackets and sailing jackets mostly, I think. Now Salvation Army had this for $30 and it sat for a while. Uh, eventually went half off. I went ahead and picked it up for $15. I think it's about a $60 jacket. So worth picking up at that price. Then I picked up this brand new with tags, Cabela's jacket. I don't even know what this is worth. I forgot to look it up, but it was only $4.50 at Goodwill. So it's like, you know what? Uh, brand new with tags jacket. Seems to be clean and perfect condition. I'll have to put on the screen there what I think it's worth once I look it up. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I really want to thank you for watching. Got some good stuff, good profits. I would appreciate it if you hit the 
subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video you can find me on twitter instagram flipping underscore junk this has been wick until next time